in on some of these more projectile heavy characters, especially, you know, like if they don't approach Luigi, it can be difficult for him to find a grab or anything to start real big damage. But once Luigi gets in with like a fireball to a dash tech, just like that, it can be so difficult for the Belmont to survive any sort of hit. Well, I was talking to Ellie again on Monday and he was saying that he's really just able to once he weaves around and gets in on the Belmonts, that's when it comes like, you know, go time, gets exactly. big damage. And he's also able to use the plunder to negate some of the projectiles. Yeah, I mean, he does have projectiles of his own to combat, but not to the same level. Okay, well, the returning uh, Holy Cross will put Elegant in hit stun. Ooh, trying to snipe Elegant really far down with the axe going through the stage. Right, Elegant gets up into the Holy Fire. There's the F2, and that's going to be the first stock for Nitro. Only 60%. Like we were saying, Elegant hasn't really found a full opening yet. Just been straight hits. Yeah, it's all about how he's going to break the mold. And when it comes to putting up a, a flurry of projectiles and attacks, Nitro is going to be very good at it. I like that Nitro doesn't follow like the same pattern of of like a uh, attacks. So it really depends on like elegant situation or his, his stage position. Yeah. And that's how he's gonna set up his attacks. But even then he'll mix in like uh, an extra ax or delay the holy water a little bit just to make it seem um, new. Yeah, he's very good at changing his order of projectiles to stock lead right now over elegant. And honestly, I don't think he's too worried about dying to anything that isn't like an up. And 87%, mm. I mean, you can also get down throw, tornado chased. Yeah, I meant, like, okay, you right, you right. Let's see, ooh, misfire, no misfire. Run off, Neo tries to edge guard, but forces him back on stage with the upbeat. Oh, is that throw? the tornado chase? It is the tornado chase, but. It looked like uh, you were there on accident. Well, it just looked like he got the wrong read on Nitro. Because even if he did land it, Nitro did air dodge at the correct moment. What was that setup Nitro was going for? Through the holy water off stage, which actually clanked with the green missile and then exploded on uh, Luigi. Yeah, and they hit him with the axe as well. It looked like he tried to combo that into a forward smash. That's right. Elegant just side being off stage says, I, I'm not making this one back. It's not worth the headache. So I know that Elegant's using joker in the more projectile heavy matches he said on monday that he doesn't feel like he needs to use joker against the belmonts but i'm hoping that he brings it out yeah that match uh just demonstrated why he might want to switch no it's going to still be the luigi it looks like he's thinking about it i mean it is a best of five he does have you know it does take three losses to get knocked into loser's bracket but at the same time, do you really want to chance Joker on game three, or do you pull him out of game two? I know you, you I think, go on game two, I think. Honestly, I think you should go on game three. But uh, we see we have a character switch to Mario. Mario, not, okay. Not Joker. You know, he can deal with projectiles a little bit better than Luigi can. Has the cape and the flood to you know mess with his recovery a little bit more. That's right, but he does get zoned out just as good. Okay, now he's getting in. The up throw into the up airs, three of them. Looks for the air dodge, but he doesn't find it. Up the air short for Nitro is going to be the gay option <laughs> choice. That's right. Now, you got to watch your recoveries. Even if you're recovering low, that wa holy water can still clip you. Yeah, and there's oh, the that's a very unhealthy shield. Yeah, Nitro just setting up his t He knows his timing. knows that N Elegant is going to try and jump in and throws an axe right in the line of fire for him, but it's not going to work out. Okay, but he is able to get back on stage and land an F smash onto Nitro, dropping down with the Nair, trying to catch the tether recovery. Very smart, but Nitro very aware. Ooh, dash attack. Right, great use of the cape right there. It says, I don't want to get popped up by this. Instead, I'm going to disrupt your timing. Here we go, more projectiles. More. Okay, super jump punch is able to clank with projectiles. Very, very good uh, character knowledge right there. Dropping down, trying to cast the tether recovery once again, but not finding it. Oh, oh we got it that man. time. Yeah. Dead. And that's going to be a big difference between Mario and Luigi. Is Luigi sends Luigi's nair lasts just as long, but it sends upward, mm -hmm. whereas Mario can use the late hit to gimp uh, the Belmont. 
That's true. So Mario may just be the pick that Elegant needs. But, oh, very unfortunate. He bended his second jump and directional air dodge and did not catch the ledge. You gotta be, you gotta be careful with your resource management, especially when recovering. All right, elegant, looking to find a narrow start things off, but not able to find it. Roll behind him and jabs just to get some damage, but great catch on the air dodge landing with the grab. Oh, but the up B recovery is gonna keep Nitro in the game. Oh, elegant has holy fire. Oh, holy fire converted. Yeah, I think. Be he, gone, demon. I feel like he had longer to charge it. Uh, because of the holy fire, he could have got that stock, but he's not going to do it. Nitro going out trying to find the stock off of the back of it. He's not going to do it. Forward smash is, though. That's right. I don't know how many stocks I've seen Nitro take with holy fire or F smash, but it's too many. It is too many. Yeah, I mean, it, it's his grand butter. You know, that's his best kill confirm he has. If you're getting hit with it, why would he stop? Oh, no, I'm not saying that Nitro should stop using it. I'm saying people need to stop getting hit by it. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, ooh. I like the way that Nitro is spacing out his F tilt, and then he'll do, like, a short hop in directional. Oh, the jab lock, down smash. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see the forward smash. Yeah, Maybe I'm surprised we didn't see forward smash either. I mean, you don't have as much time off of jab locks to, you know, charge a forward smash or anything, so maybe down smash is faster if you want to get the hit out, make sure you got some. Pretty sure you can still jab lock and F smash. Pretty sure you can, but just to be safe, you know? Mm, well, Dealer's Choice, he might have, may not have just wanted to stale his F smash, because he knew it probably not going to kill in that position, but another right, runoff nair. Yeah, I mean, that big difference we've seen between the characters is really paying off for Elegant as he takes game number two after a pretty dominant game one, so good That's adjustment. Right. So, the character switch coming in. Yeah, very solid choice. Yeah, very solid choice of character. Now That's we're going to see, see, oh, no, why would you let him go to the stage? No, you have to ban this against Nitro. He will 100% take you to Kalos if you let him. Cal Nitro's win rate on Kalos it's gotta has to be, be like, than like any other stage. has to be like 80 or 90%. It's really hot. <laughs> Majority of the, the sets that I commentate that go to, that he picks uh, this stage, he typically takes a W. Yeah, he's very good on Kalos Pokemon League, but right now, Elliot looks like he's not even worried about it. Starting off with Ooh. quick 68%, caught the air dodge with the photo, but I'll be going to save Nitro. That's right, and he was, Elgin was looking like he was looking for a dunk. Yeah, he definitely had the re on the air dodge. Okay, but now you can see, ooh, good. Good use of the down air to just put more space in between Nitro and Elegant. All right, down air into the uppy, but great DI from Elegant combined with the high ceiling and Kalos is going to keep him alive. Okay, more accidents. It's time to tell, remind Elegant who you are. Take this, take that. Take this. There's the jab, forces Nitro off stage, but he gets back on stage aggressively with the holy water. Yeah. Smart decision, putting up that wall of fire with, uh, actually caught Elegant. Oh, and he actually tried to react to the cross toss coming back. Not going to find the up air though. Up smash, not going to do it either. Both these players starting to reach pretty high percents. That's right. Kill, uh, Throw percents for, for Elegant. Not quite for or for Nitro. Not quite for Elegant yet. But the Holy Fire does connect and not able to make it back. Yeah, if you don't realize that you fall out of it, you know, you kind of just go a little too low. Without his jump there, he's just gone. Oh, well, there's the, the gimp attempt. But Nitro's still able to tether back to the stage. Back throw, not going to be enough, especially with no rage. And a high recovery there for Nitro. He's caught on to Elegant's game. We're going to use the flood. Okay, no flood. Oh, Tomahawk he, into back Glossa. throw. He's doing his damnedest to try and find this kill, but it's just not working out for him. No matter what he hits Nitro with, he just keeps coming back. 
man. Jump the, using the double jump to just get over the holy water. And Nitro's starting to become aware of that too. He's starting to tr use the holy water to trap uh, Elegant's approaches. And back though, still not killing. Nitro seeing out 209%. Foto won't do it either. Elegant struggling right now. That's right, and then with uh, Nitro getting back to stage, you know he's just trying to create that distance between him and Elegant, but Out Smash okay. does take Finally. the stock. Finally does it. Okay, jab one, two, three. Elegant's gonna need a big combo here, bringing this damage back, because it's starting to slip away from him. Okay. Did that just play no, I, I think it was just an F tilt, so it didn't quite reach. That F tilt will reach, punishing the get up into the holy water once again. Elegant stalling out his spell so he can arm him through the cross toss on the way back. Okay. Ooh, oh. what are these conversions? But a quick up B gonna interrupt that that combo. And we keep seeing it happen just like that where he's going for these combos and as he goes to end Nitro's stock, he gets hit with the up the out disadvantage. It's almost like Nitro's reacting to the wind up of forward air. As soon as he sees the forward air wind up, he just up B's and uh, put, gets him out of that situation. Oh, and he tries to keep the ax back, but he does it a little too early and then jumps into the ax. Manages to get up on stage so he can reclaim his jump, but he's still just fighting out of disadvantage right now. Mm -hmm. Even using the down air, mixing up his approach, even landing himself off stage, but Elegant. Uh, looks like we see another SD from Elegant. And the win rate on Kalos continues to rise. Please ban Kalos against Nitro. Ban Kalos. Don't run it back. Also, I really okay. want to see Elegant go Joker. Oh, you want him to see Go Joker? I, I just want to see him do it. I doubt he'll do it. I don't think he would. Nah, he's back to Luigi, but it would just be cool to see. You know, we don't get, I, I haven't got to see too much of the character. Oh, really? Elegant Joker is pretty good. He definitely has the uh, the resets and conversions unlocked. Yeah. All right, so right now, Elegant taking a different game plan into this game number four. Well, he's just throwing these projectiles back at Nitro instead. Uh, trying con, to con just beat him at his own game. And a great start right there for Elegant. Quick zero to death. Yeah, did a really good job of landing the down air as uh, Nitro was trying to tether back to the stage. He got him twice, actually. Yeah, he hit him with the weak spot and then the strong spot. Right, down air goes for another one, but it's going to be ill-advised. Elegant gets a grab 45% right now onto Nitro. Okay, starting to weave in and out of the danger zone, and now the traps are really getting set up from Nitro. Elegant needs to escape the stage, or he needs to escape the ledge, but... Yeah, his shield is not looking very healthy. Mm -hmm. well, winding up that F smash. Winding it up. All right, he's still alive. Great jump, going to avoid the Holy Water, but a dash attack going to cover his landing option. Yeah, just pushes Elegant right back off stage, waiting at the Holy Water. Very smart. You don't see uh, Nitro charging at that F-Smash. There's no reason to, to rush. He actually caught the Holy Water that Nitro threw while he was recovering low. That was really smart. Okay, jumping over the Holy Water, but now Nitro is starting to notice. Time to uh, either wait out or possibly pick a different option. Ooh, good spot dodge avoiding that F-Tilt. Yeah, and Elegant finally rolling back into the center stage, gets the dash check, and he has Nitro out there. He tries to, it looked like he tried to run off and down there, but he didn't quite get off stage fast enough and did a down smash instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, a or couple more axes. Just trapping Elegant at the ledge. And the green missile gonna allow him to recover, but an axe does connect. Yeah, you can't be recovering too close to the stage. The axe will just go through it. Well, Elegant has to recover close to the stage. Luigi's forced to recover like that. Yeah, it's a bad spot to be in. Okay, Elegant's able to make it back on stage, but getting trapped at the ledge seemed to be the game that Nitro wants to play. I, I actually do like that we're seeing the fireballs make a reappearance here for Elegant. It's what started the game off so strong for him and gave him this lead, but now we're kind of seeing him run in a little bit too much and Nitro's bringing it back. Oh, he well he catches. Cycle? Never mind, he's not bringing it back. He is, Elegant still making his way in the lead right now at this game number four. That's right, attacking a little bit of damage with the fireball. 
Oh, even using his Nair, Elegant's Nair to uh, stop the Holy Cross. Oh, not gonna do it from center stage. Elegant still alive, thankfully. Trying to fight his way back off the ledge, but Elegant, uh, Nitro rather, is very good at mixing up his timing so you don't have a clear cut way of getting off the ledge. Okay, now the Holy Cross does connect and able to convert into the axe. Ooh, good get up. Definitely needed that invincibility as Tank was uh, running out for Elegant. Watch your shield, Elegant. Great use of the cyclone right there to close the gap. Mm -hmm. Oh, plunger into forward air. Ooh, chop him up. And right there, Elegant rolls behind. He waits for the spot dodge, but instead of going for an up beat, he just chooses to use the low middle jab. Down throw into the back air. It looked like he was trying to go for the down throw up beat, but react to Nitro's inward DI with a back air instead. Okay, and recovering close to the stage once again, but he's able to make it back. Back air does connect. Now we have a one stock game for. It's only one ledge trap away for Nitro sometimes. Yeah, with the, with the amount of damage that he's been getting off his traps, especially used with the Holy Water, coupled with the Axe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and that's big damage, 45, 60, and now Elegance on the ledge. That's right, okay, you gotta wait out that Holy Water, make sure that Nitro doesn't get damage for free. Making it back, making your way downtown. Great photo, tech chase with the uh, dash tag. Ooh, that was a very scary situation. Elegant getting caught by the holy water. Cyclone on the ground isn't gonna be enough to kill quite yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, but whiffing a grab, very dangerous for Nitro. Now finds himself off stage. Oh, expecting a low recovery from Tether. And Nitro recovering high, very smart. Now, oh, the holy water is not gonna be able to, okay, he's gonna be able to make it back. All right, he made it back. Yeah, that was very smart to save his jump. Almost dying to the back here, but keep himself alive at the very last second. Yeah, but he has no air dodge, and that's what made him get hit by the Holy Cross. And he's gonna get forward yeah. thrown. Oh, yeah. and not air dodge, not gonna be able enough to save Elegant. And like I was saying, it only took one time of putting Elegant on the ledge for Nitro to make that comeback and take a 3-1 victory over Elegant, putting himself in winner's finals. That's right. All right, now we have more Belmont.